uh, today I uh, try to explain about the uh, Shaolin Xiaohongquan application. Shaolin Xiaohongquan form inside the man movement is pushing palm. Okay, the pushing palm is very important. A lot of people, they know the Xiaohongquan, they know the pushing palm, but they don't know the real applications and how or why, how to push in palm. All right, so let's quickly explain now. In the form, they start. Yeah, in the form, they say start like this. Yeah. Ah. See, so push in palm, push in palm. Okay, crouching, push in palm, push in palm. So in this, push in palm, very important. Can you see your waist is needed? Can you see your body? Yeah. Twisting, using chuba, twisting like this when you're pushing palm. And hands there, and you raise the knee, and you see, then you can push in palm. So it's not just like this, pushing. So you have to turn your body, you know, your back shoulder must go to the front. Your front shoulder must go to the back. So that's the first pushing palm. You can see, if I'm stay here, left shoulder go back, right shoulder go to the front. Right? Can you see? Huh? Huh? See? Hey! Then, yeah, so this way, and after become that way. So this way, and that way. So that's the reason, if you want to get the pushing palm powerful in the combat, you have to be flexible. Your waist, hips must be ready. Alright? So now normally, we practice pushing palm, only, see that? Stay here, twisting your body. Can you see? Front shoulder, back shoulder, keep a swap. See? Front, go back, back, go to the front. Then you swap, and swap, swap, swap. Also, you want to get the strength your arm tendons, muscles, are powerful, so you need to stretch your arm tendons as well. So when you're pushing, not a relaxed pushing. So you need to use your tendons, muscles, See, it's stretching and stretching, stretching, stretching. See, when you end, you're stretching, you feel here, all being stretched. So this can build up your quality. Otherwise, if you know the applications, you fight because you don't have an impact, the power. When you don't have enough power, you cannot damage the opponent. So you cannot use it for self-defense. So this, the right palm, can you see? Normally people think right pushing palm, right is block. Many, many people think it's a block, punch, but it's too slow. This is too slow. For example, you can see, people do one punch, okay. You block, they're coming, okay? So you cannot go a block, they're coming, see, you punch or pushing palm, it's too late, all right? So they have to, uh, the options, when they, when they punch you, so you can block, but you don't just block it here. You block here, then they cannot punch the other one. So then you can punch him, or push the palm, you know, use the palm to attack him. Okay, see? Uh, one, there are these options. Fighting stance, fighting stance, jump, yeah, go there, yeah, good. Jump, yeah, jump, jump, come back. Jump, yes. And jump, yeah, jump, see. Yeah, jump, so you go, see, when you go that, that other face cannot come in, then you can go. This is the one option, all right? Two, you use this palm to attack, not only block. So when that, when that opponent jab you, you straight away cross, use the palm to attack, open at the head, straight away attack, okay? Straight away attack, you see, you rest, <laughs> bam, yeah? But not just stay here, is you bouncing, Forward like a tiger bounce. Okay, so say, quick, yeah, so one. If other hand coming, same, yeah, other hand coming, you form your palm from the middle. Other uh, face coming, you form the middle, can you see from the middle, use here to bite them away, hiding your head, can you see? Pushing, palm, the attack. Fist, palm, same, yeah. So if you do slowly, and you can see, one. So, front face, so one, two, go. See, hiding, go there, attack. All right? You can use the palm, you can use the fist. So even in uh, competitions, 
you put the gloves, you still can use. See, with the gloves, so when I punch you, can you see the attacking? See, attack, and another punch, see, attack. All right, there's two attacks. Yeah, now we use, without the gloves, we use the palm. And we can touch a little bit gentle, and you can see, uh, jab, back fist, okay? One, two, okay, see? Uh, one, two. All right, so this is the one options, remember. Two options, you see that, if they use the back fist first, when our opponent use the back fist first, see, you do this one, but no, remember, it's not defense after attack, it's too slow. Defense and attack. Defense and, and, and attack, you see, uh, it's together, okay? It's together. So, let's see, you can see, one, see, then second one, all right? Go, uh, one, second one. If you hear not flexible, you cannot swap, you see, you cannot uh, put your back shoulder to the front position, you cannot reach them. Uh, if you only can go here, you see, it's too short, you cannot yet. So you have to extend a little longer. So that's why we practice this one, and we practice other one. See, like both sides, we can do that. So this palm, just like this, can you see this hand guard? Like so you see the punch, see, the second one, all right? See, one, second one, all right? So without the rest of the knee, it's still possible, you see? One, can you see? You reach, yeah, and you out. Can you see? One, two. So that's the uh, forms, applications. So when you do the, can you stand aside? Okay. When you do the shadow by yourself, can you see? So you go like that, see that? Part it. One, 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 two. Okay? Yeah. Yeah? See? Yeah? So, when you use a combat, it's more relaxed, more flexible, more freedom, and you stay like this. See that you punch. You can, without the rest of the knee, see, cross punch. Or rest the knee punch. Yeah? So, now you stay, see that fist, front, can you see? Without rest the knee, it's the same, one, okay? And the back fist coming, one, can you see? One, same, can you see? That's the one. So you can step forward, boom, yeah? Out, yeah? So your combinations, you can do one, two, as you said, one, two, yeah? So front jab, one, two, huh? One, two. You go to the middle, yeah? With the back face the first, one, three, two, keep guard. That's the one, all right? And uh, we do front, back face, double punch, one after another, I can rest the knee, or without the rest the knee, also is okay. And go, see that, one, two, okay? It depends, you need to cut the exact time. If you're late, run, marched, then you, you can be hit. All right, so that's the uh, important one. The rest of the knee also can do that, see? One, two. Uh, it depends who fast. Remember this one, two, that can be very fast. Bang, bang, very fast. But you also, your head can move. All right, so say boom, boom, out. Okay, uh, boom, boom, out. So this fist is important when I punch you. See, you use here to impact, see? Impact, but not a, not a strike down. It's see, <laughs> yeah. So then punch you, see. Slide, go, slide, go, slide, go. All right. So that's the uh, important reasons, uh, important point you need to know. All right. So last, go. So front one, back uh, uh, one, two. Okay, and back first one. Okay, see, one, two. Okay, so that's the uh, push and palm, the basic applications. Okay, and also have a lot of things uh, with the legs and whatever. 
but we will explain next time. Okay? Thank you very much. We'll see you next time. Yeah? So turn. Yeah? So this knee, knee lock in, lock in. Yeah. Yeah. And you feel, this knee bend. When you bend, you feel, yeah. you feel more power. They cannot push you. Yeah. Okay? If you keep straight, keep straight, keep straight. Yeah. Can you see? Yes, yeah. yeah. so this way. When you keep straight, the easy can push easy. you. Yeah. All right? Or even the change your leg there. You fall. The change your leg there angle. You got to be like that. So if I change your leg there, you see that. You keep straight, straight. Straight, back leg straight, yeah? This one is, is a little bit difficult. But if I, if I change my power, look. I change my power, go down. Go up, yeah. see, you're away, yeah? Yeah, that's no, called there's, the there's no circle power. But if you're bending, yeah. if you're bending, it's different, look. If you're bending there, so you twist power, power goes through, yeah. bending, you see, yeah. you have more power, you see, yeah? Wherever they change, wherever they change, because you bend there, so you can yeah. swap. Yeah. See that? So, yeah, it should so really make sense. Yeah. That's why you, you punch the back fist, the power is in your back leg. Okay. And the back hips, so you know how to use this one. So that's why this leg can, can go up. Can see it. <laughs> so this is back leg, back hips. Can you see? That's why when you practice this punch, this punch not only raise the knee punch, it's the this is the lung how to get feelings about your back leg. So once you can, yeah, and the, the, uh, see that, that picture, see that? Yeah. yeah? So that's the yeah. famous movement in Shaolin. But not many people know. Yeah, they think that they, they just make a cool, you know, pose. Yeah, they make a cool pose. They don't really know the meaning. Yeah. You know, I've been searched many years, all my life. I find that because uh, in the ancestors, in the ancient time, the Shaolin master is not to make a pose for make a cool. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, so he found it. yeah. So that's why they, this pose must have a reason. Reason why? If yeah. you, mm -hmm. if you find this is a true pose. True movement from ancient time, Shaolin, they must have the meaning. That's why I keep research, keep research. Now I find out, I find it. I want. So it's so powerful, someone punch you, no way, but I see you just swap your, you swap your fist. <clears throat> now it's like arrow, shoot out.